One of the most common reasons that I see patients, and in fact probably the most common, is the question of what to do with their breast cancer in the adjuvant setting. The adjuvant setting is defined as some additional therapy beyond their initial therapy which is either mastectomy or lumpectomy. The questions involved revolve around do we do hormone therapy after the surgery? Do we do chemotherapy after the surgery? Do we do both? Or in some instances, neither. The major types of adjuvant therapies are either hormone therapy, such as the aromatase inhibitors, which are used in postmenopausal women, or the older drug tamoxifen that can be used in either pre- or postmenopausal women. The other choice is chemotherapy, given in the adjuvant setting, usually intravenously, if the circumstances of the breast cancer are such that chemotherapy is indicated. There are a multitude of variables that go into the decision about hormone therapy, chemotherapy, or both including such factors as estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, HER2 new gene analysis, size of the tumor, differentiation of the tumor, and most importantly, the status of the lymph nodes. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I wanna share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.